All right, we've got uh, we've got Lopez and Free Palestine here on stream. Um, Lopez, a a master of all the low tiers, looks like he's going chic today though, which is uh which is interesting. But we will see how he fares against uh, a very experienced chic, uh, Free Palestine, number two seed here today. Uh, they're jumping, jumping into the game one here. Probably we'll see the chain grab come out here in the Sheik's Ditto. Um, very, very important option here. And yep, Millie getting it right away and just down thrown away on the platform. And, ooh, hits the reverse hitbox of the forward air there. Sends him the wrong way, unfortunately not able to get him off stage, but is able to pick it right back up again and send him to the, uh, to the opposite side of the stage. We'll see if that nets him a kill. Yep, that nair is going to hit him. We'll see what, uh, what Lopez comes back with. Ooh, looks like he's trying to get something started here with these uh, with jab down smash, but Millie able to get it out a little bit better there. Got the jab, yep, jab down smash, sending him off stage, and stays on ledge just long enough to, uh, to keep Lopez from recovering there. Ooh, get up attack, knocking him down from the platform there. That was a good option, good option there by the Free Palestine. Um, knew that uh, Lopez was likely going to come up, try to uh, try to counter his missed tech and uh, punish with something, but uh, that get up attack just easily able to knock him away there and give him a free uh, free recovery there. He's got him off stage again. Comes down with the back air. Ooh, that was a that was a good reaction there by Millie to uh, to come back on stage with the down air and was able to convert that into another into yet another kill. Just showing his mastery really of the sheep ditto. Uh, you know, this is a matchup that he plays nearly every week against Dreffen, and uh, he's very very used to this sort of uh, this matchup here. Oh. Almost, almost gets a gets his final kill there. We might see a four stock here from Lily. Uh, um, he's got him, got him in the corner again. Uh, you really hate to see that. The accidental side B from Lopez uh, probably was trying to just to, just to drift to ledge. Uh, I know it's it's a little bit unfortunate, but that is going to net it for for Free Palestine there. And uh, going to go into Pokemon for game two. Again, Lopez sticking with Sheik. Uh, we'll see how it works out for him. Didn't look like it was going too well. Game one, and this doesn't look much better. That was insane. I don't know if that was a zero to death. He has 14% on him, but that was that was just an insane combo. Just taking him right up to right up to that platform and taking him with that up smash just perfectly. Every every pretty much every hit of that combo just executed so beautifully. And you know, resetting back to neutral. Lopez Lopez a little bit safer of a player than I, I feel like Chef was against Free Palestine, as we saw in the last match. But still, just how quickly Free Palestine can get up, get out of neutral and is able to push his punishes um, as far as he possibly can. Just very, very good. Very, very smart the way that he uh, does. Lopez trying to weave around him with these nares. Hits him with a straightforward air, knocks him off stage, and is able to close out a kill. Good stuff from Lopez there to uh, to react to that. Maybe a bit of a stray hit, and uh, just able to convert that into a kill pretty quickly. Oh, but Millie's got these, these combos, the dash attack. Gets him off stage yet again, and just no options there for Lopez. Lost his jump, didn't have any way to recover from that. And uh, just, just another kill for... Uh, for Free Palestine there. All right. Millie again, just staying, staying out of range, but Lopez is able to to keep chipping away at him. I feel like he's he's adapting very well. Lopez is a player who who adapts extremely quickly. He he notices your weaknesses, and, and Millie is like this as well. Pretty much every every good player is like this, but is able to able to notice certain elements of your play that he can just slowly chip away at. Not, he's not really that much of a comboer. He's not much of an explosive player, except when he's playing low tiers, I feel like. Like, very low tiers. And, you know, he's just able to, to slowly chip away 
and do as much as he can in every interaction. Just he's he's good at maximizing micro interactions. However, that uh, that slow slow little uh, last last few interactions there are gonna net the the win for Free Palestine. It's gonna do it for that match. So good stuff. Good stuff.